just quickly want to ask you about five days at Cheltenham. Uh, I, 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 look, I'm old. I, I used to love, I'm going to sound old and chippy, but I used to love it with three days. It was so hard to win. Uh, my first festival was 95. I think the first four day one was probably 2003 or four around that time. I can only ever remember Isterbrack being an even money favourite or an odds on favourite in those nine years. Now with four days, there's five or six or seven odds on favourites that are going to have five days. There isn't enough horses. It's so diluted. It's like, I think it's it's the worst thing that racing could ever do is let them have five days at Cheltenham. Is there any positives to be taken out? I, I mean, no disrespect, but a mare's novice hurdle at Cheltenham. What does it do? You know, there's races there that are just, you know, they shouldn't be at Cheltenham. You know, Cheltenham is meant to be the pinnacle, the hardest to win, the most competitive, whether you're male, female, whatever you're in, you're meant to be competing against one another. There's a division for them all now. Do you know? It's like, you know, you look at the, the Turners, the four-runner race. You know, you look at the, 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 the National Hunt Chase, the Statler one, six, seven runners. And they're going to have another, and, got some, and then they're going to come out with, it's only two days. And then you think about if it rains, is there enough good, safe ground for that many horses, you know, to, you know, to be competing on to have two more races? You know, I, I, look, I, you can tell I ain't, I ain't a fan. I think it'll be the worst thing that ever happens. And someone keeps saying, oh, it's going to happen. Why is it going to happen? You know, I think it's bad. I think it's, you know, I think jockey club race courses could do better. I think they could do better at market and other race courses rather than that. You know, I look at Cheltenham. Um, a friend of mine won the Fred Winter three or four years ago with um, Band of Outlaws, Justin Carty. And I remember he telling me that he looked the next week or two weeks later, he got 35,000 or something. The same horse won a Premier Handicap over a mile at the Curra in August or September and got 79,000. He said his party cost him more afterwards than what he won at Cheltenham. It was great to win at Cheltenham, but it shouldn't, that, you know, that shouldn't be the case. You know, Cheltenham is meant to be the best prize money, the best horses, the most competitive. Is it? Do you think it is? You know, so anyway, that's the rant over. I don't think there's a place for it, but someone better with more brains than I will think it's a great idea.